Weird rules. Did you grow up with some weird rules? Didn't realize they were weird until you got older? That's Morgan Wallen in One Thing at a Time on 101.1 KRMD. 910 now, I'm Mason in the morning. Broadcasting live on the radio and on Facebook and on YouTube all at once. You can find out what's going on behind the scenes inside the studio right now if you go to Facebook.com slash KRMD Mason or go to at Mason in the morning on YouTube or just stick right here on the radio. We're talking about weird rules that you had when you were a kid. Did you have weird rules? Did you know they were weird? <laughs> Did you not know they were weird until you got older? Or you went over to somebody's house? <laughs> you, had a, you had a slumber party and you thought this was a normal thing that your family did, but you found out otherwise? It's pretty funny. This is pretty funny. Uh, I think it came from BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed asked a bunch of people online, what's the weirdest rules they had as kids that they didn't realize were weird until they got older? <laughs> uh, I think this is pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to think of ones that I grew up with. I don't know if I had any weird rules. I probably could if I thought about it long enough. But I do remember doing that kind of thing where my friends came over for a slumber party or we went to somebody's house for some birthday party and there was like the weird kid who did something really weird. <laughs> I can't think of any though. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I, I I remember thinking, wow, that kid's weird. And I don't remember who it is or what it was or anything, but I just remember it a little bit. I wish more would come to my mind. But if you had a rule like this, put it in the, the comments on Facebook or YouTube or text them in, 320-KRMD. Text in the weird rule you had. I'll give you some examples that showed up on this list. Um, there's a mom who made sure that her kids never covered their mouth when they coughed or sneezed. You know why? She didn't want to get their hands dirty. <laughs> so she just let it fly. Do not cover your mouth when you do that. Do not cover. They just sneezed and let it all out. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Uh, another one, this would have been one that I would remember. It was these kinds of things. A kid was not allowed to use the word fart. Not allowed. They had to call them fluffs. <laughs> Can you imagine growing up and your family says, oh, you can't use the word fart. You have to use the word fluff. And then you go to a, to a party when you're like seven or eight and you're calling things fluffs. <laughs> you're calling your farts fluff. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a sad bully situation that you brought on your kids. Don't do that kind of thing <laughs> to your kids. Uh, this one's kind of funny. This I don't know if this is just stupid low iq i don't know this one says a mom a kid's mom thought that drinking more than one glass of water a day would dilute the nutrients in their body <laughs> so they could only have one glass of water per day because it would dilute the nutrient what does that even where does that come from and guess what they were supposed to do after that one glass of water they had to drink seven up why would seven up not dilute stuff but water what she didn't realize it was weird until she got older. <laughs> she thought everybody had one glass of water a day. Uh, this one says this guy enforced, his parents enforced their bedtime up until he was in his 20s. He would even party at his friend's house for his 21st birthday, and he had to call his dad at 8 p.m. to say he was going to bed. Says he secretly stayed up later than that, though. <laughs> secretly. Uh, what is this one? A very religious parent wouldn't let him watch Spongebob Squarepants because he thought the holes in Spongebob's body would induce lustful thoughts? What? <laughs> Spongebob? This is a sponge, right? With like, I was never a Spongebob fan, so forgive me if I'm describing Spongebob wrong, but it was a sponge. And then he had legs and shorts and a hat, <laughs> right? There's nothing more to that, is there? Couldn't watch SpongeBob SquarePants because of lustful thoughts. That's that's a stretch, I would assume. Uh, this one says a kid's grandfather would not wouldn't let them 
finish their leftover cereal milk by drinking the bowl. They had to finish it off with a spoon. I don't know. <laughs> that one sounds okay, I guess. A little bit weird. Uh, this one says used Kleenex had to be flushed. You were not allowed to throw the Kleenex in the trash. Maybe that's a you know, hypochondriac kind of thing to do, right? Do not throw those in the trash. That's snot. You're just filling up a trash can full of germs and bacteria. I can maybe get on board with that. Maybe I should implement that one at my house. Uh, it says a couple kept running. A couple kept a running tab of all the money that they that they spent on their kid for 18 years, from food, clothes, sporting equipment. And they told them eventually the kid would have to pay them back. But then when they graduated, they cleared their tab and called it a graduation gift. That's funny. That's funny. That's a good way to do it, though. And it was like, look at this incredible gift we gave you. Everything we ever bought for you your entire life. Congratulations on your graduation. Here's nothing. I hope you loved it. I hope you loved it. A girl's mom made her all her friends wear socks in the swimming pool. She was afraid and paranoid of planter warts. <laughs> that would be crazy. If I went over to somebody's house as a little kid and they made us all wear socks in the swimming pool, I guess I would have done it. Their mom says that. Socks in the swimming pool? Have you ever done that? That sounds terrible. That sounds awful. And uh, I got another one. A girl's mom took the don't swim after eating rule to extreme. She also had to wait 30 minutes to take a bath. She didn't realize that that was weird until she got to be an adult. All these are weird rules that parents gave them that they didn't realize were weird until they got older. If you had a weird, if you had a weird rule like that, put it in the comments. Put it on Facebook or text it in 320-KRMD. I'd love to hear the weird rules. I know that I probably had some growing up, but I can't think of any that were too weird. I always think back to the like... I wasn't allowed to eat hardly any sweet stuff, like sweet cereals that all my friends got. It really meant something to me. Go to the friend's house and they had like cinnamon toast crunch. That was the dream. I was sitting at home eating Wheaties. Weird rules. If you got them, put them in the comments. Hope you guys had a wonderful Easter weekend.